Today we are going to discover how you can build your own OTT solution. What are the key top 10 elements that will do your own solution. So let's start. My name is Fabio Gallo. Today I will show you the 10 top elements to build the OTT solution. So let's crack on. The first point is about the content, right? So everybody say content is the king. Uh, in my opinion, for OTT, the content plan is the king. So what kind of format of the content you are going to include into the solution is a very important element. It's going to be a long form content, it's going to be a short content and what kind of content and when we will place, right? So having a proper content plan is one of the key elements to do that. If you don't have a content plan, yeah, contact me and I will be happy to help you. The second point is about distribution. If content is king, I think distribution is the queen, right? So having a proper distribution strategy can make a lot of difference in terms of how you will be successful in the OTT solution. And when I talk about distribution, I don't mean just distribute the content on your own channel, but how you can distribute other contents around the other platforms. Having an omni-channel strategy is absolutely key in order to be successful in your plan. The number three is about marketing. Many companies, they always start about product and they're thinking a product is the only thing that counts when it's about OTT. Again, if you see here, the first three points doesn't take in consideration anything about a product. The third point, again, is marketing. And when I talk about marketing, I'm talking about not just about organic social media channels, so not just reaching the current user that you have, if you can reach it, because you know that an algorithm in Facebook and in Instagram, in YouTube, etc., is continuously changing. So how you can increase your brand awareness, how you can nurture and educate the users about your own OTT solution is one of the key elements of your strategy. So take into consideration also to have different kind of strategy like paid media or other kind of affiliate programs that can help you to boost your revenues or your audience traffic. The number four is about the product offering, right? What kind of user experience, what kind of user interaction you're going to build inside the solution. It's going to be a solution mainly for live content or mainly for VOD content. So depending on what strategy you're going to, to, to have it, then the product will also ref have to reflect it. The number fifth is about technology. So what kind of CMS, content management system you're going to include, what kind of video management system you're going to include, what kind of technology you're going to integrate in order to make your solution as robust as possible. The number six is about the video architecture. So video architecture is one of the key elements and is not something that many companies knows how to do it. And this is why they go to a third party com companies to help them to build it up. If you need help in terms of video architecture, contact me or go to www.viewlift.com and we'll be happy to help you. Number seven is about end user support. Again, I see many companies failing with end user support. End user support is not just answering an email to some user that contact you requesting, uh, I forgot my password, I wanna uh, subscribe to the service, how can I do that? It's not just like that. You need to go to social media, you need to have a more bigger plan in order to have a better customer support. Now user pretend from you that you answer quickly and fast on social media channel. So if you don't have an internal team to do that, my suggestion is to outsource it. Number eight is about a team. Again, a team is extremely important. So you need to make sure that you have appropriate resources internally or externally to manage and build the solution. So if you don't do that, you will probably struggle uh, in, in the operations. Number nine is about data. So having a first data approach is, is a must have and is something that you need to include into your strategy approach. So 
and I'm not just just talking about including Google Analytics tools. I'm talking about uh, go deeper, understanding the user behavior, understanding what kind of experience uh, users are having, what kind of quality of service you are delivering to such users. And to do that, you definitely need a single user view. You need to have a picture, an individual micromanagement picture of each individual users that are surfing on your OTT solution. And the number 10 is about intelligence. So everything is about intelligence at the end. So how you can manage the data and how you can transform that in your, uh, for instance, business model approach makes a lot of difference between a successful OTT and a non-successful solution. So again, if you wanna know more about all these things, you can drop me a message, a direct message me, or you can surf uh, my, my website, fabiogallo.co, or you can surf our main website, viewlift.com, to know more about how you can build a successful OTT solution. Thank you, see you.